Psalm 79, a psalm of Asaph. O God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have reduced Jerusalem to rubble. They have given the dead bodies of your servants as food to the birds of the air, the flesh of your saints to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury the dead. We are objects of reproach to our neighbors, of scorn and derision to those around us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? How long will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath on the nations that do not acknowledge you, on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob and destroyed his homeland. Do not hold against us the sins of the fathers. May your mercy come quickly to meet us, for we are in desperate need. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Before our eyes make known among the nations that you avenge the outpoured blood of your servants. May the groans of the prisoners come before you. By the strength of your arm, preserve those condemned to die. Pay back into the laps of our neighbors seven times the reproach they have hurled at you, O Lord. Then we, your people, the sheep of your pasture, will praise you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Psalm 80 For the director of music, to the tune of the Lilies of the Covenant, of Asaph, a psalm. Hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Awaken your might, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. O Lord God Almighty, how long will your anger smolder against the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bowlful. You have made us a source of contention to our neighbors, and our enemies mock us. Restore us, O God Almighty, make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it, and it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. It set out its boughs to the sea, it shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its wall so that all who pass by pick its grapes? Boars from the forest ravage it, and the creatures of the field feed on it. Return to us, O God Almighty, look down from heaven and see. Watch over this vine, the root your right hand has planted, the sun you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. At your rebuke your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Psalm 81 For the director of music according to Githith of Asaph. Sing for joy to God our strength, shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music, strike the tambourine, play the melodious harp and lyre. Sound the ram's horn at the new moon, and when the moon is full on the day of our feast. This is a decree for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. He established it as a statute for Joseph when he went out against Egypt, where we heard a language we did not understand. He says, I removed the burden from their shoulders, their hands were set free from the basket. In your distress you called, and I rescued you. I answered you out of a thundercloud. I tested you at the waters of Meribah, Silah. Hear, O my people, and I will warn you, if you would but listen to me, O Israel. You shall have no foreign god among you. You shall not bow down to an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own devices. If my people would but listen to me, if Israel would follow my ways, how quickly would I subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But you would be fed with the finest of wheat, with honey from the rock I would satisfy you. Psalm 82 A Psalm of Asaph 
God presides in the great assembly. He gives judgment among the gods. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Selah. Defend the cause of the weak and fatherless. Maintain the rights of the poor and oppressed. Rescue the weak and needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, You are gods. You are all sons of the Most High, but you will die like mere men. You will fall like every other ruler. Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. Psalm 83 a song, a song of Asaph. O God, do not keep silent. Be not quiet, O God, be not still. See how your enemies are astir, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation, that the name of Israel be remembered no more. With one mind they plot together. They form an alliance against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagrites, Gibal, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia, with the people of Tyre, even as Syria has joined them to lend strength to the descendants of Lot, Selah. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and became like refuse on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, Let us take possession of the pasturelands of God. Make them like tumbleweed, O my God, like chaff before the wind, as fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze. So pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm cover their faces with shame so that men will seek your name o lord may they ever be ashamed and dismayed may they perish in disgrace let them know that you whose name is the lord that you alone are the most high over all the earth